Dean, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'll first read, well, this is an extract, of, uh, an excerpt from the, um, from the apology letter. For the times we have rejected or excluded you and those you love, we're deeply sorry. The occasions on which you have received a hostile and homophobic response in our churches are shameful. And for this, we repent. Strong and quite unequivocal words. What's, what are your thoughts? Strong words, yes. As you say, this comes from six years of, of research and reflection in which we took part here in Gibraltar. Uh, two years ago in Lent, we had groups in the cathedral uh, every Tuesday for five weeks mm. discussing these issues, and we fed back our responses to the bishops, and now they have met together and come up with this answer. Um, their report is 20 pages, which was available this morning, and I'm still reading it, but that apology comes right at the beginning, and they have realised how poorly... Um, LGBTQI plus people have been treated in the past and they want to make up for that and to emphasise that all are welcome in God's yeah. church. This is, I mean, the treatment of uh, the community has not been exclusive to the Church of England, of course. I think it's quite widespread amongst religious institutions and this is quite progressive. Not the most progressive. You're catching up to the Church of Scotland, allowing gay marriages since last year, the Episcopal Church since 2017. So yeah. this is blessings of civil marriages, so entitled to all the same entitlements, but not within the church. The blessings are not obligations, as I understand. They are optional, so the big question is what will the position of those in Gibraltar be? So, first of all, I have to say that this document and the 30-page resource document which came out with it are currently just proposals. Okay. So these are going to be discussed at the General Synod meeting in February. And hopefully this time the General Synod will accept the report from the bishops. Six years ago, the General Synod rejected a report from the bishops on these topics and said, go away and try harder. Hmm. And so this is what's come out of that. And I think in February this will be approved. It may be deferred for modifications at the July meeting of the Synod. And then the permission will be there for clergy who feel able in good conscience to give a blessing to those who have a civil partnership or a civil marriage and are in a same-sex relationship to give thanks to God and ask God's blessing on each person in that relationship. And would you count yourself among these? I still haven't finished reading the report. Yet to make a decision? Yet to make a decision. I also need to talk with members of the cathedral congregation and with the Anglican, other Anglican priests here in Gibraltar. OK, so big moves being made. Um, a quote from the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. This will be too far for some, not nearly far enough for others. There's a lot of truth to that. The, well, the, the progressive edge will have wanted for full marriage in the church, whereas some will have thought that this is a concession too far. Do you risk alienating both sides with this decision? Indeed. Uh, that's always the problem with being diplomatic. You, you, you can't please all the people all the time. Hmm. Certainly the more conservative provinces in the Anglican Communion in countries like Nigeria and Uganda um, are going to say, no, this is against all we've believed all our lives. Um, you are departing from the traditional teaching of the church. Whereas in the United States and probably Canada and Scotland, as you mentioned, they're saying, no, we've gone ahead with this and we're fine with it. Why are you hanging behind? So we're, we're caught between two different extremes. The Church of England, of course, being sort of the original church so that's led to the wider Anglican Communion, which, as you say, yes. traverses across the globe. It's, uh, we've, got English, we've got European, African, Asian yes. churches. So do you think that this will be reflected across the Anglican Communion to a wider extent than just the Western world? I think it will take time. Um, we watch these big ships out in the bay mm. and we see how long it takes them to change direction. Yeah, they can't change direction in five minutes. And the Anglican Communion is like that. It will take a long time to change direction, especially when half the crew want to go one way and the other half want to go another way.